Well, here we go. It is the bronze medal match in the men's individual archery at Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. And out comes our two archers to compete for the bronze medal. It is Kim Min Su of the Republic of Korea up against Harvinder Singh of India. Singh, good wins all the way to the semi-final before losing to Kevin Mather of the USA, 6-4. Very close match. Didn't produce his best, just one ten in his 15 arrows, but a gutsy effort nonetheless. So he's competing for a bronze medal. And here's Kim Min Su, who lost in the shoot-off to Zhao Li Shui of China. Some good wins coming through over Brazilian Czech Republic and Russian archers. So Kim now focusing for a bronze medal. He's had three perfect sets in his four matches. And here is it, a moment too for Ranjan Balnik of India. She is the line judge for this match. If Korea prevail here, this will be their 39th medal in archery at the Paralympic Games. And their 14th bronze overall. And if Harvinder Singh prevails in this match, this will be India's first ever Paralympic Games medal in archery. So a bit of history coming here for India if Singh can get over the line. So let's get this match underway. Best of five set encounter, and it's Kim to go first. He starts with a nine. Kim, a young man on the rise. And Singh has plenty of ability too. He is the current individual champion at Asia Para Games in 2018 in Jakarta. It's going to be really interesting to see how these archers handle this mentally. It's all mental. Here, yeah, they're all fine archers. Our four medal contenders. Who can deal with the moment the best? Will be standing on the podium. And Singh now has the opportunity to claim the first set with an eight, a nine, or a ten. And he's got the nine, so we'll tick that off. It's really just getting to the finish line now. And Singh. And Singh. Remember that in 2018, he won that gold medal at the Asian Para Games in Indonesia shortly after the death of his mother. He dedicated that win to his mother some achievement when you lose a close family member when you're a high achieving achieving sports person and still go out there and and succeed as he did three years ago so he's got some ability to absorb some mental challenges and he's trying to do it again here so first set goes to him 26 to 24 he leads two set points to nil. Second set now. Kim has been banging in plenty of tens through this competition. He's got 19 of them. more than anyone else. It'll have a couple more right now. Hey! 
Yeah. Well, that was exactly what you asked for, and that's exactly what he delivered. And there's a psychology, isn't there, to approaching a bronze medal playoff, to be able to treat it as though it is now your personal gold medal. Well, wonderful arrow there, too, from Harvinder Singh. Great response. But it is Kim who will win the set with back-to-back -back 10s, and he's back on form. Pretty decent set of archery from Harvinder Singh as well. But Kim and Sue, 29 out of 30. Well, I don't think there was any doubt that his best performance came in that quarter-final against Smirnov. Seven tens from 15 arrows in that match. He is capable of producing some high quality scores. As we just witnessed. When he's on form, when he's shooting well, he's virtually unplayable. It's just a matter of consistency, isn't it? Yeah, that one felt good off the bow, didn't it? 29 plays 27. We're back on level terms in this bronze medal match between Harvinder Singh and Kim Min Soo. Time for the third set. has three tens from seven arrows. That is decent. Eight. Well, it's a big chance here for Singh to take control of the second set now with this arrow. And he's done so. Wow, a nice four-point buffer with one arrow left. Nine. So nine scored by Kim and that means Singh to win the set needs just a six or higher. Not the perfect set but good enough. It's really all he was after. It's going back and forth, this one. Very, very hard to uh, predict with any degree of confidence. from nine for Kim. Four set points to two. Singh just one set away now from his bronze medal. Kim, a bit more work to do. Wouldn't count out the Korean just yet.
Big arrow here for Singh if he can hit a 10. I tell you what, though, a nine's not too bad. He's one arrow away from potentially a bronze medal. He just needs a 10 to Singh. Well, he might even need less than that. In fact, he does need less than that, that now with Harvinder Singh needing just an eight or higher to win the bronze medal. It's a and it's a seven. Oh, you got a feel for him. Harvinda Singh just one point short. That means the set's going to be shared, and on we go to the final set. It's going to be five set points to three. How many times have we seen it? How often is it the case? It's the last arrow. That's the hardest one. Uh, pretty clear what the coach's message to him will be. You've still got it there. You can still do this. to sing and Kim Min Su 5-3 to sing with the last set all set to go Nine. wonderful start there it's very solid arrow from Kim three arrows in the gold zone are going to be competitive Nine. Wow. So it comes down to one arrow here. Kim. If he gets a 10, he has the 10. It's grabbed the line. Now that means Harvinder Singh needs a 10 to tie the set and win the bronze medal. Second opportunity. Oh, it's a nine. That means 26 all, but that nine start arrow is going to be a 10 from Kim. So it's all hinging now on the analysis of that start arrow, that last arrow from Kim, but it looked like it's grabbed the 10. Yes, well, unfortunately, the Korean... <laughs> There we are, we can get a look at it now. That's definitely on the line, surely. That yeah, looks completely clear, doesn't it? He was very secure about that from the moment the review process began. And there wow. we have confirmation. Wow, a 10 with the last arrow to send the match to a shoot-off. And this is incredible. Both archers have already been involved in shoot-offs through this competition. But first, let's confirm the scores. 27-26. It's finished five set points each. Kim, who lost his semi-final in a shoot-off to Zhao of China, is here again. And Singh, who won shoot-offs in the 116 and the 18 elimination rounds, is here again. Wow. I mean, the great irony here as well, when you think back to the semi-final and Kim just not quite being able to put away the match, being deprived by his opponent repeatedly, and then he now is the one who's done that to sing in this contest. Well, Kim lost that shoot-off 10-8. And Singh won his shoot-off in the 116 elimination 10-7 against... Travisani of Italy, and then he was closest to the centre in a two sevens with 
Zai Dendorzhiev of Russian Paralympic Committee. So here we go. The third shoot-off for Singh in this competition in just five matches. And Kim, his second in five matches. And it's nice and simple here. Closest to the centre wins. It's one arrow shoot-off for the bronze medal. Kim to go first. Wow, Kim would love to have that again. However, Singh has still got to be closer to the centre than that arrow. And win a bronze medal. Yes, he's done it with a 10. And Harvinder Singh steps up and wins India's very first archery medal at the Paralympic Games with that arrow right there. Archery's been in this beautiful event since 1960. So it's been a long time coming, India's very first medal. And he has done it, Harvinder Singh. What a moment for him. And what a moment to win another shoot-off. Five matches he has competed in in this competition, and he's won three of them in one-arrow shoot-offs. If that doesn't deserve a bronze medal, I don't know what does. So congratulations to Harvinder Singh of India. Talk about winning a bronze medal the hard way, the dramatic way. He has proven his toughness. He's proven that he can handle a big occasion to produce a 10 for bronze. Brilliant. Wow. There is the confirmed score, 10-8 in the shoot-off. Harvinder Singh wins the bronze here at Tokyo 2020 in the men's individual archery Paralympic Games.